Hello, everybody. Um, I've d I was just kind of experimenting around on uh, this game called Kerbal Space Program, and um, made some very, very uh, how should I say um, inefficient ships. So <laughs> let's see here, which one is probably the worst. Um, I'll say the SAS Orbiter. And then this is just the demo version because I'm too cheap to buy the actual ver actual versions. But yeah. <laughs> um, let's see here. This should work. Um. And then, yeah, so. Perfect. Yep. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure I've flown with this before. I can't remember. Anyway, let's see how it flies. <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> oh, there we go. Alright. Just had to load in. Perfect. Alright. So now... Alright. Well, I tried this earlier and hopefully it'll work out better this time. Is the last time, let's just say my orbit went out like 10 million meters before it actually came back around. <laughs> But I have faith in I have faith in my design this time. Mm, I'm thinking about calling my aircraft old faithful. No, that wouldn't work. But anyway, the reason that I failed last time is because I didn't get quite enough uh, horizontal uh, velocity, so it I, it um, basically shot me too far up instead of over, so I couldn't orbit, and I just instead went pretty cray cray to my guts and stuff. But yeah. <laughs> Jettison those engines off. Jettison those engines off. And, uh oh. Uh oh. Come on, baby. Come back around. Here we go. Alright. Just like that. There <laughs> we go. <laughs> Look how everything changed direct changed direction to my thing. Lit or when my feathers lift or whatever. I don't know what you call. Okay. Yeah, there's only one flaw in my design at this point, and it's the fact that once I jettison those other two engines there, 
Um, this engine hardly has enough power to keep the lift, as you can see up here. So then, so then, basically, as soon as it starts, as soon as the uh, fuel runs out of that, then you have to switch immediately, or else it won't get enough lift and stuff. You know? Yeah. Rambling on while I'm trying to get into orbit. As you can see there, I'm almost out of the atmosphere, so then it'll be kind of smooth sailing from there. Hopefully not use as much fuel as I've been using. Yeah, once this Apple Oasis gets up to about 120, yeah, that works. All right, there we go. Jettison those engines, perfect. All right, add and maneuver. There we go, wonderful. So 132, 102. All right. Yeah, that looks good. Um, just trying to get a little more oval there. Yeah, it's good. Alright. So, now we just sit here for two minutes. I'm just trying to speed time up a little bit. There we go. Oh, yeah, whoops, I gotta slow down time and get rotated to where I need to be here. There we go. Perfection. It's now 25 more seconds. Here we go. 3, 2, 1, burn. Now, as you can see here, everything's starting to get wider. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stop. Damn it. Hold on. I'm going to wait until this thing gets... Ah, there. That's about as close as I'm going to get it. Perfect. Alright. Well, now I can just sit back and then speed up this as fast as I can. Speed this up as fast as I can. Uh, oh, man. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode on how on getting up in into orbit. Um, and I'll see you next time for more probably Assassin's Creed videos. See you then.